Welcome to the What's in the Box look and today we are taking a look at the uh, Subaru Impreza WRX STI Type S. This is going to be from Inter Allied uh, 124 scale Risen Kit. Yes, I did say Risen Kit. This is a complete Risen Kit. Uh, you do not need to have a donor kit for this. Everything you need to, to complete to complete it is in the box. Uh, the current price right now for this is a little on the high side. It's going to be about $77, give or take, who you buy from. Um, using Hobby Search's price real quick, they, they have it at $77. The pre-order price was a little bit less. I paid $70 for mine. So yes, I do understand that is a little steep of a price, but if you want a Subaru WRX STI of this model year, which will be the Gen 4 5, uh, say the 2015 model year, it's your really only choice. Um, your other choice, if you want to do a little older version, you can do the 2010 WRX STI sedan. Uh, the guys out of the Ukraine, uh, USCP has one. They have a risen body. Uh, that's $70 by itself. Then you still need the donor kit. So, a um, little bit about Inter Allied. I can't tell you much about them. Um, I uh, was unable to find a whole lot of information about them. Uh, Hobby Search has a a store for them on their website. Uh, they mainly do die cast. Uh, I was a, was unable to find a Facebook page or a website for them. Does not mean they don't exist. I just was unable to find them. So, like I said, this is a full risen kit. Everything you need is inside the box. Um, I believe this was derived from a die cast. Uh, I believe they took I. Looked like they they scaled down a 118th scale 118th scale die cast and used that information and made it a 124th risen get out of it. That's just my guess. Um, just some of the research I did, I was was unable to find uh, a 24 scale WRX of this type. I was able to find a 118th scale, and a lot of the stuff matched up. So I think that's what they did. They just scaled a uh, 118 scale die cast down. Anyways, I don't know. Just a guess. Doesn't really matter. Um, let's get to what's inside the box. The goodies. And there you can see how it looks. Um, those right. That is the bulk of the parts. That's so really. So your parts count as low. It, it is understandable though. This is a die a risen kit. So. It's not going to be super detailed. It's going to be, you know, on the minimal side. But everything it looks very, very good. This is some of the cleanest ca risen casting I have seen. I, I'm blown away about uh, how nice this is. So let's take a look and see what. All right. So we're going to start with the body. I knew you knew that was coming. Um, like I said, this is some of the cleanest casting I have seen. This is very, very nice. Um, this is also some very heavy casting as well. I think when you get this completed, it's probably going to weigh as much as a WRX. Um, okay, in all seriousness, it'll probably weigh as much as a uh, die cast to be honest again this is some very clean casting um, this looks as good as a injected molded kit heck this actually looks better than some injected molded kits to be quite honest they did a wonderful wonderful job I am very impressed with how nice this looks So, that is the body. Um, this is going to be your chassis and part of your interior. As you can see, you have the um, center console is molded in place. Um, and you can see it's fairly thick casting. It's going to be your bottom side. 
a little bit of detail, nothing much there. Uh, the, it will attach, you'll be attaching the chassis interior to the body with screws, two in the front, two in the back. So that is the, uh, and it just sits on like that. Ah, uh, show you, the, there's the, in, show the inside of the body. that. So now we're going to take a look at the interior pieces. Um, just about, so you got your, your front seat, your rear seat, your door panels, your dash, and your steering wheel, uh, gear shifts, and having problems getting in and out of the packaging. Um, so let's take a look and show you some of the detail. There's your dash. Again, the detail is amazing. For a ris for the for a risen kit, this is the, the pedals are they they kind of suck. Um, I'll re remove those and use some box uh, parts box pedals. But there's your dash. And you got your rear seat. Molded in seat buckles, the rear, the rear shelf. Um, the interesting thing about this, this will attach to inside the body and then you put the body over the plate. There are your front seats. Again, uh, the detail is really, really nice. A very, just very impressed how clean this casting is. I normally stay away from a lot of risen stuff just because it's never really that great, but this is really nice. These are steering wheel. And your door panels. All right, gonna look at some of the various parts. It's kind of a disorganized mess, but anyways, those are gonna be your wipers. Again, casting is really nice on these. Um, wheels. They do uh, poly caps. Um, they attach to metal axles. It's going to be your rear mufflers. And the exhaust tips that attach on them. I already only shown you one, but you get the idea. That's the exhaust pipe. Um, The brake rotors, um, uh, so there are four of them. Uh, they'll attach to the in, inner wheel well of the chassis plate. So four of those. Uh, your, this is gonna be your lower driving lights on the, uh, the front bumper. The headlight buckets. Uh, the rear wing, if I can hold it, <laughs> uh, you get the idea, the rear wing, uh, the e-brake, gear shift, it's going to be your tail lights, they are clear, you'll have to, uh, I believe they need to be red so you'll paint them red or you can leave them clear I, I believe they're red on the real car tail lights uh, and this 
plastic bag here will be your headlight, your headlight covers. And so bag of here are your side view mirrors. Piece that goes on the front side of the uh, chassis underneath. And your tires. Now these are hard tires. I believe these are, uh, I don't know if they're risen. Probably these probably are risen tires as well. Nice tread on them. Uh, blank side walls. That's expected. Um, let's see how well they fit. A little loose. So you may end up having to I have to try the other one to see how the fit is. Yeah, that's not good. Well. So there are your tires. I'm probably going to see if I can find a different set of tires to use. And we're not done yet with the parts. Um, here we have a photo etch set, which you can see contains some grills, uh, brake rotors, and some side window trim, and um, license plate um, backers. And then some lights. This is going to be obviously your um, metal axles and screws. Here, here we have the window baggie. Which we'll open. Like there are, there we go. So there's two windshields there. I don't know if that was by accident or if that's done on purpose. I'll have to look later on. Uh, rear windows looks like they gave you front windows, so you get two tinted rear windows and two un and two non-tinted front. Windows and your rear window with um, the uh, defrost lines in it. That's pretty nice. And a decal sheet with other goodies inside. And there's your decal sheet. So you have uh, decals for the interior. See what else is in the bag as I drop it. A set of um, he has some uh, S some more STI badging there. Your mirror stuff. It's a really nice 3D Subaru emblems. And we'll take a look at the instruction book to finish out the video. You see it's your instruction book and your uh, parts layout and your parts call out sheet, parts breakdown sheet. Um, everything is in Japanese pretty much so and then, um, so 
it's going to be uh, dec some decal call out decal call out on the back here before your interior and then so folks there you have it that is the W the Super WRX STI from Inter Allied on that note thanks for watching